Well, hi again, you guys. Welcome to another edition of Curtis Collects Vinyl Records. This is going to be a little bit of a different type of episode that we're going to make here. We're not going to talk about one band. We're going to talk about one label, one guy who founded a label. We're going to talk about um, the record label called Electra. I've been reading about it in this terrific book called Follow the Music, The Life and High Times of Electra Records and the Great Years of American Pop Culture and it's all about Jack Holzman, who founded the label in New York. It's been sold and then it's been rebought, and I'm not even sure. Uh, I'm sure it exists today, but I'm sure it's part of the Warner Group or uh, BMI or something like that. But what a what a um, a, a terrific uh, history, read this guy is. It's very similar to the the Ahmet Erdogan story, maybe the Clive Davis story. These guys were pioneers. They enjoyed, they loved music. They really loved finding and signing acts. Um, and this is really terrific. So let's go through uh, just a, 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 just a small sampling of some of the greats that have been have appeared on the Electra label and before we get to this record uh, by the Butterfield Blues Band. So this is one of the first um, records that they put out on Electra. Electra. It's uh, called Josh at Midnight with Josh White. And this has the very early version of the electrodes before the Block E or the Butterfly came along. And this has the very f one of the first production supervisor right here, Jack Holzman. And um, you can see it's on, on this. Um, this white label. So um, there's so many greats. It's a really terrific uh, read in no particular order. Queen was, was one of the great acts ever, of course, and many of their great LPs are on Electra. This is the game. Um, could have really had a hard time figuring out what what song I wanted to play. I, I, I think I'm going to do an entire uh, episode on Queen. I've already done that, so didn't want to do Queen. Didn't know this. The New Seekers are on Electra. This is from 1971. Here's the Block E, and it might even have the Butterfly. Yeah, so here's the Butterfly. Um, hope you guys can see that. That's the, the really cool Butterfly. Uh, so that's the new Seekers. They were kind of an off version of the original Seekers. And uh, let's go through a few more of these. Of course, Bread with David Gates. This is great. So many of the great records that they, that they put out. And uh, of course, here's the, the great Carly Simon, No Secrets. The right thing to do. This is great. You're so vain. And there's the E up there. Um, did you know they were The Doors was a big Electra act. This is their uh, uh, the best of The Doors so it was on a little bit of a different the, the logo went to this black and red thing and then here is The Doors 13 and that's the there's the Electra over there. This is the craziest one of course we love Bernie Taupin down here but um, I didn't know he was on the Electro label. And he's got some of the great guys that Elton has played with, Kelly Kay and Davey Johnstone. This is produced by Gus Dudgeon. I was going to play a song from this, you guys, but it's, uh, it's a poetry. It's like spoken word over music. And it really, nothing, um, no offense to the great uh, uh, Bernie Taupin, but nothing really uh, stood out as something that would be... Um, super enjoyable. And then many of the great Harry Chapin records. I picked this one out randomly. Uh, and many, many others. Uh, Jack Holtzman produced like sound, uh, sound effects records, all sorts of things. So the Butterfield Blues Band had some really cool people in it. The late, great Mike Bloomfield. Unbelievable. There's a book out I'm going to read about him. Paul Butterfield himself, harmonica and vocal. Elvin Bishop, one of my all-time favorites on guitar and uh, Billy Davenport on drums, Jerome Arnold on bass, and then Mark uh, Naftalin or Naftalin on 
keyboards. So let's get this song going, whatever it is. I think it's going to be something called All These Blues. And this is uh, the Butterfield Blues Band on Electra. great way for me to get, uh, I probably would never have uh, decided to have played a song by this album. I only have one record by the Butterfield Blues Band and, I, and normally I make an episode and it'll be all about all the records I have by that one band, but I think it's interesting to cover um, something kind of unique in this uh, vertical um, collection of a, a particular label. Um, A&M would be a great one, Atlantic, that we could do dozens of episodes on Atlantic. And of course, all the records that uh, Clive Davis um, was involved in. But I highly recommend this book. It's been fascinating. There's snippets about different people who uh, came in and out. Oh, I forgot about Judy Collins um, and uh, Mark Abramson is mentioned here. He did a lot of international recordings, um, and. Uh, it's been it's really right up my alley because it's it's got a good uh, good flow and it's all the backstories about the artists and how he discovered them and recorded them and produced these records and how the album and I mean the label uh, grew. So this was another edition of Curtis Collects Vinyl Records, talking about um, the album the label that was uh, um, created um, by Jack Holzman called Electra and uh, that's how these are um, in this sort of a format. Hope you guys uh, enjoy this, and uh, we'll see you guys back here again soon. Thanks for watching, listening, and subscribing, and uh, we'll make a few more of these. Thanks.